Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because instead of talking about creepy backrooms things like entities or levels, I'm going to be talking about some creatures that are tameable or friendly or sometimes both. This video has been really highly requested and I've actually wanted to do a video about it for a while, so here we are. Make sure you go subscribe to my second channel, Toogly. I'm uploading some cool stuff over there right now. But that's enough shameless plugging. Let's get into the video on some tameable or friendly, or both, Backrooms creatures. So the first question you might ask yourself is, why would you want a friendly entity or one that you can tame? Well, the answer to that question, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty simple, because it's dope. I mean, just imagine running around with an army of doll faces protecting you. I mean, that sounds pretty cool to me. So for the first creature on the list that's tameable, I've got doll faces. Now I did just make a short about this entity, so I won't go into too much detail, but basically a doll face looks like a raggedy and doll from real life, and it has stringy yellow hair and a plushy body. They're actually really dangerous until they're tamed, especially if they're in a pack, because if they are, they'll just gang up on you. So if you do want to tame one, you have to go up to one, a singular doll face, just one, with almond water, and offer it to it, and be nice to it, and then it'll be tamed, and it'll follow you around. It'll literally follow you around forever, and you can do this to literally as many doll faces as you want. Like I said, you could end up with an entire pack just surrounding you. Just make sure you have enough almond water to feed them all, and you should be pretty cool. Next up is another popular entity that's friendly, not tameable, but friendly, and it's facelings. Now, to be fair, the kid facelings are not friendly. They're actually really dangerous and mischievous, but when they become adult facelings, they get more mellowed out, more chill, and definitely more relaxed. They've been known to follow people around and to even help you complete tasks like fending off entities or finding your way out of levels. But yeah, facelings pretty much look like adult humans with a blurry face, if you don't know. Even though they look pretty creepy, they're friendly. And the friendliest ones are on level 11, where you can literally become friends with them and build relationships with them. The next entity is one that I don't think that I've ever actually talked about on this channel before, and it's named Aiden, or Entity 48. Now, Aiden looks like a security guard that wears a mall security outfit and has a huge camera instead of an actual head. Nice. The creature is really smart, and apparently it knows a ton about the backrooms and its levels, and he'll try to protect the Wanderer at any costs. And there isn't just one Aiden, there's multiple Aidens, but they all have like a shared consciousness because if you meet one Aiden and then you find a different one, that Aiden will also know all the things about you that you told to the other one, so it's pretty cool. But like I said, they will defend you and help you to the best of their ability at all costs. They'll even follow you to different levels. If you want, all you gotta do is ask. All Aidens have been seen defending wanderers from entities and rescuing them from traps. So to me, I mean, he sounds like a pretty stand-up guy. What else can I say? Now these next two creatures are both friendly, not tameable, but friendly. And they're actually pretty similar. One of them is the Hermit, who I just went over in a YouTube short. But pretty much, he's a plague doctor that hunts entities. He's really hospitable to people, and he always asks them into his house for a meal and a drink, and is always very kind and willing to help. The other entity is called Theodore Kinsley, and he's a Scottish guy with a huge mustache. He wears a suit and has a ring on his left middle finger, and he's also very friendly and hospitable, and he loves to invite people over to his place to eat food and drink and to tell stories of his own, but sometimes he will ask you, the Wanderer, to tell your stories. Once he builds a relationship with you that's positive, he will protect you as well as anyone else he's built a relationship with, and he'll try to protect you from anything especially if you're nice to him. But he will always remember the people who were not nice to him, and he holds massive grudges and refuses to acknowledge, talk to, or help anyone who is rude to him. But yeah, other than this, Theodore and the Plague Doctor are pretty similar. They're both cool bounty hunter type things that are nice and hospitable and pretty good friends to have. The next friendly and tameable creature is male death moths, but I have to stress the fact that it's only the male death moths that are tameable, not the female ones because they're really hostile and they can spit acid. 
The guy ones are pretty harmless and they're smaller and they can be tamed with almond water and just like the doll faces you can tame as many male death moths as you want and you could even have your own army if you really wanted to. So lastly for the video is an entity from level 117 named Mr. Freeman. Now Mr. Freeman looks like an average balding man with sunglasses and a suit on and he teaches algebra and geometry in the classrooms of level 117. He welcomes any wanderer to listen to his lecture and if there's no wanderer in the room then he's literally just teaching his class to an empty room. Creepy. Mr. Freeman also is very helpful if you ask questions. He's pretty knowledgeable about the backrooms, especially level 117, and he has never showed any signs of aggression or anything like that. So he's just an old math teacher condemned to teach an empty classroom. Kind of sad, but at least he's nice and not this guy. So many of you hate when I do that, but it's so funny to me. Next up we have doll faces. This is an interesting creature found on several levels in the back rooms, but most common on level zero. They are physically described as a cloth plushy doll, similar to the Raggedy Ann dolls of the real world. They're very dangerous until tamed, specifically if they're in a pack. Doll faces will roam around until they see a wanderer or an explorer, and then they will approach it and say something along the lines of, quote, Hi, I'm Dollface. It's nice to meet you. After this, the doll face might attack you, or it'll just stand there. However, normally they just run away if they're alone. The only exception is if there's a group of doll faces. If there is, then once one introduces itself to you, the rest will attack. However, if you just want to tame a doll face, offer it almond water, and act nice to it, and they'll start following you around. Nice, a humanoid sentinel ragdoll who hunts in packs. I love it. Next we have the Hermit. This is a humanoid creature of unknown origin that lives in a shack that it carries around on its own back. That's pretty cool. The shack is made of an unknown material but it resembles tin as we know it. When the Hermit deploys this shack, a front yard type thing appears in front of it and this yard has sticks and pikes with heads of other entities on them, such as heads of skin stealers, hounds, a large intestine of a human, interesting, and the head of a strangler. Also the eyeball of a smiler and an unknown snake entity with purple scales. Despite the hermit's appearance, he is actually very hospitable, even though he resembles what we would call a plague doctor. His accent is a manly, slightly Irish accent, and he enjoys lengthy, deep conversations, especially deep conversations about his food and the food he likes to prepare. The hermit is known to be a cunning warrior and a skilled hunter, and has been witnessed using crossbows and bone saws and bear traps. And he seems like a pretty wholesome guy, just a lone wolf who hunts for sport and offers tea to random people. I mean, how can you hate him? Anyways, that is it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. There aren't really that many friendly entities to be honest with you in the back room, so I don't know how many videos in this series I could even make, but this one covered the main ones. Make sure you let me know down below what videos you want to see. I'm going to be uploading some level explained videos very soon, as well as the entity shorts and logs like always. Make sure to check out my second channel, Toogly, and subscribe. There's going to be some bangers coming up on there. I just uploaded a short on there about Star Wars movies. I got a ton of stuff planned for that channel. We're going to get it to 100k this year. That's the goal. Also, make sure you tune into Toogly for the Silver Play Button unboxing, which will be up next week sometime. Thank you so much for your support. We're already at 118k subscribers as I'm recording this. That is just insane, and I, I cannot believe it. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you to my patrons and channel members as well for your incredible support. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate you all. Thank you for watching and supporting. And I will see you in the next video.